Last night, speaking of falls, there was one in the final of the Inter-Dominion Pacing Championship. You wouldn't read about it, but Australia had just one finalist, its motor power. It was the horse that was involved in the scrimmage. The race was won by Mark Hanover. It was worth $500,000. It was a triumph for Roy Purden, the trainer, 64 years of age. He's won 15 of the last 16 New Zealand premierships. This was his first Inter-Dominion. It's the first time New Zealand has won the race since 1979 and Purden went on to Quinella. It really was an exciting race. Let's go to the action. Two laps to go. This is where its motor power comes to grief. On the inside to letter Kenny Lad, they're followed by its motor power, Reva Lord, Franco I starting to move up and Mark Hanover running into trouble at the rear of the field. On they go past the 2,000 metres, Mark and Field command of the leader. Round the outside goes its stable mate, Inky Lord, hello. One has been tipped out, Jim O'Sullivan and his motor power. He's been tipped out of the socky. 18 happened to go and Field Commander. Ricky May wants the lead with that, Nick Icky Lord. And he gets it. Field Commander is to get the trail running third to foe. They're followed then by Gail Feller around the outside. Christopher Barnes getting onto it back the Bruiser. They're followed wider out from the outside by D. U. Two. Then Letter Kenny Lad is followed by Mark Hanover down on the inside as Reba Lord. Franco Ice is second last and Sermo weighs up the rear. Into the showground bin they go now with 1500 to go and Christopher Barnes the pilot by a link for sitting out of the death the Bruzari doesn't want to be there down on the inside is Inky Lord they're followed two links away by Field Commander on the outside of Field Commander DU2 on the inside is Defoe around the outside with 1200 to go is Letter Kenny Lad on the inside again as they move on is Reba Lord on its outside is Mark Hanover they're followed a link the quarterback by Franco Weiss second last but starting to move and Sermo the showground bend they come now in the Golden Jubilee lifespan into the minion final and the Bruiser is the leader pressured on the outside by Reba Lord on the inside to Christopher Barnes Mark Hanover one out and one back down to the inside of Zinke Lord they swing in now and Reba Lord on the outside and the Bruiser on the inner down the outside is Mark Hanover coming through in the centre is Christopher Barnes wide around here is Zinke Lord at the 150 Mark Hanover Christopher Barnes won't give it on the inside it's Christopher Barnes and Mark Hanover head down to a Ding dong, nothing between the two of them. Mark Hanover's won the golden, the golden jubilee lifespan into the minion fight, I'd say, narrowly from Christopher Barnes or Franco Ice rocking at home. Just a four-year-old, he's won 18 of his 43 starts. Mark Hanover beating Christopher Barnes and flying home Franco Ice in third placing. Well, Keith, that's it for the racing segment. We both reckon Ray's a rhythm will win the slipper and better loosen up the BMW, a Hayes double. We'll be wiser men this time next week, Bruce. We'll know uh, which horse is the best two-year-old in the land and we'll know whether Superimposed was a worthy challenger to better loosen up at Wait for Age. You've been so uh, agreeable with me today. I'll shout you lunch later. Looking forward to it, Keith. I'll be around at about one o'clock. We take a break. Back with more after this.